Thousands of Dallas County residents endured the overnight heat. When I first got here, it was so many people standing out here on the mediums and and I'm like, what's going on? Many began parking their cars and standing along South Polk Street at 4 p.m. yesterday. After hours of waiting, the crowd made a mad dash to the Jesse Owens Memorial Complex. I seen the stampede. I had my son. They were running in the hopes they could be among the first to apply for the free housing assistance. There's a lot of pregnant girls out here. They was just. It was running amok. Among those injured, one woman fell and bloodied her knees and elbow. Another woman suffered a seizure and had to be carried out of line by Dallas Fire and Rescue. Some complained about heat exhaustion. And a woman seven months pregnant was also knocked down in the crowd. There is no perfect way. You expect long lines in this economic situation. We expected large numbers of people to come out. Even with the chaotic situation, Zach Thompson, the director of Dallas County Health and Human Services, said his group was prepared for a large crowd by placing more than 40 sheriff deputies and medical teams on standby. Dallas Sheriff deputies are making sure that the line stays in control. After what happened this morning, they want to make sure that everyone gets in and out safely. It took a while, but order was restored by the Dallas Sheriff's Office. I'm glad the police, the Dallas Sheriff are out here to keep everything in line, make everything go smoothly. Even though it will be at least two years before these applicants will even find out if they are approved, it was worth the headache. In Dallas, Amanda Fitzpatrick, NBC5.